In today's video, we are going to break down how a pole barn is built. If you are in the Midwest or if you're in any rural area, you're probably going to want to build a pole barn. If you're investing in real estate and you're looking to do like these barn dominiums or you're looking at ways of creating a massive amount of space in a short period of time in a cost effective way, this video is for you. If you're looking to find out how to build a pool barn from beginning to end, this video is for you. If you're interested in how the Amish or people from the Amish tribe work in Missouri and why the number one pole barn builder in all of Missouri is based out of a town called Jamesport, Missouri with like 900 people. You're gonna see why right now. All right, so let's get into this video. I'm gonna take you through the exact steps that we took to build our pole barn, right? So first of all, initially, when we built our house, we initially knew that we were gonna want to have some sort of exterior building just to hold all of our stuff because when you buy a big piece of property, our property is on 10.96 acres, call it 11. When you buy a big piece of property, you gotta keep equipment, cars, lawnmowers, maybe a tractor, all sorts of tools, right? Things that you just need to keep track or up on your farm. But if you wanna learn about how to build a pole barn, the cost of building a pole barn, if you're gonna do it yourself, tips, tricks, how these guys built it in a short period of time, giving us a great result. Watch this video in its entirety. All right, let's get into it. So first of all, the first thing that these guys did is they poured their footings and they poured their piers, okay? So the first thing that we did actually, when we were grading out our final property and knowing exactly where we were gonna put our pole barn, we graded out that surface. Now, did we get a discount for doing that? No, we didn't. So we probably uh, should have asked for that cost off of the actual build. But these buildings are in high demand. And so prior to that, I had actually decided to work with somebody else. Generational Builders built all the barns in my neighborhood except for like one. And you know, we saw them do stuff. We knew that they were the people to go to. I decided that I was gonna try somebody else. And the reason was I bought a building in downtown Kansas City where I'm at right now. I wanted to try tried that contractor on a pole barn first. He said he built pole barns. He showed me his pole barn. He said he built it. After three months of this person jerking around, I finally said, well, what the heck is going on? He's like, I'm waiting on this issue from the city. Call the city. What are you waiting on? We never had a problem with him down there. No problem. We take over, give the new guys the go within two weeks. We're on their schedule. Within another two weeks, they're starting to erect the building. First thing they did, they came out there, they poured their footings. You're gonna see that, they prepped that whole area there. And then once they poured their footing, they had to wait for the weather to mature. And then what they did is they poured their concrete. You're gonna see the pre-prep, you're gonna see the visqueen they put down, how much gravel they used, how they put their steel rebar together, and then how fast they poured it. And they also ripped out one of the pieces of concrete that they felt that they poured wrong. So they stuck by their, their job, they did everything right. Really, it was a great experience. Now, the one thing that I learned from watching these guys build, and I watched a lot of it, is that they work together as a team just so well. And all of these guys were former Amish people. So they have all defected from the Amish tribe, but they all have that amazing work ethic that the Amish are known for. So these guys, they're building these barns and they all work together as a team. And I talked to each one of them one-on-one -on -one to kind of get them to know their story, where'd you come from, what you do. One of the things that I found out with these guys is they just wanted a better life. They had a good skill set. They wanted to earn more. He was paying his guys as much as 50 bucks an hour. The low wage laborers were making 20 bucks an hour. The high paid guys were making 50 bucks an hour. As you watch this video, you're going to see these guys are operating machinery. There's no stop. It's all go. And it's very, very, very impressive to watch this team of people build this pole bar. What you might want to know in this video videos. How much does this thing cost? Well, I want to hear in your comments what you think this thing costs. I can tell you right now, it's 40 by 60. It is huge and it does a couple things. One, it allows us to have complete privacy because it blocks out our neighbor's house, which they're thankful for, we're thankful for. So we got privacy on that side now. Two, it houses all of our equipment. So now rather than having a garage full of stuff, we've got a garage with nothing in it, which is fantastic. So now we can put a little home gym in there and kind of build that space out. The other cool thing about this barn is we pre-plumbed it. You can see that right there. We pre-plumbed it so that not only can we you know, spray it out and put a drain in there. So we put a drain in so that whatever I need to wash can go down the drain. We're good there. Or if we need to hook up like and put a bathroom in it long term, we have the ability to do so. We just have to you know, get permission, but we've already had it done. And I just asked the city, I said, hey, do you mind if I go ahead and 
put this in here right now. I'm not hooking it up. I'm not trying to hide anything from you. Cause some guys have told me you need to hide it. You need to bury it into the concrete and then put a little piece of plastic on it and then chip it out when they're gone. I just felt like, let's not start there. We got a great relationship with, with the county. So we went in there, told them what our plans were. They said, we got no problem with that. So now we've got all set up to, if we want to add a bathroom down the road, if we want to turn this into a barn dominium, if we want to do anything like that, we have those options, right? Not only do we have the option for that, but this ties in to our property really well. The main point of this whole video is that you can learn exactly how a team works together well and how you can accomplish way more if you got a great team. Some people could build this building on their own, but there's no way that they're getting it done in that period of time. They took the engineered trusses, they had them in stacks, and they threw them up there and tacked them on down. And you're gonna see them tacking them down, tacking them down, tacking them down, tacking them down. Then after that, they rolled out their, their roofing, they put all their uh, coating on, they put their metal on, and they wrapped the building and then they were out of there. They don't give you electrical, they don't give you anything. You could have upgraded for foam. So these guys have like a bunch of different businesses. They got a concrete business, they got a foam business, they got a pole barn business, and all the businesses work together. But for tax purposes, I imagine these guys, these ex-Amish guys are pretty smart and they put everything into a business, right? And so that everybody who works in those businesses can be independent contractors and all that sort of thing. So there's a, there's a lot of good business acumen in that small, crew plus these guys are on top of it and they've been in this business for a long period of time what i learned when i watched these guys was they aren't scared of heights and you get used to anything that you do for a long period of time because they're walking around these roofs like they are nothing and i'm sure that that's just something through experience the other thing i learned is how fast and how much i regretted hiring the concrete company who did my driveway because after watching them pour this concrete i realized man I could have just avoided so many problems if I had just paid a better professional to do the job. Sometimes that's what it's all about. One of the comments that I get most on all of my videos is, ah, oh, you went with the cheapest solution. Ah, oh, you went with the cheapest solution. You know, we don't always go with the cheapest solution. A lot of times we go with a solution that is more costly, but we have to make sure that that person has earned our trust. When you don't have many solutions and you've got nobody calling you back, you go with the guy who calls you back. And that's what we did with our concrete originally. So that's one thing that I, no I noticed was like, man, if I had just found somebody like these guys, how great it is, and sometimes it you know, makes sense to pay full price for just great service, and we got great service. This is a great property. Here's the finished project. Here's our stuff in here. Here's how it works. We're gonna be putting some ring cameras on there. We're gonna be getting this thing all set up. We still gotta pour a little bit of a driveway in there. So we'll find them to do the concrete or somebody as close as they are. And that's the whole building in its entirety. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you share, make sure that if you have any questions that you comment, we do answer our comments. And listen, what is the best thing that you like about this pole barn? Would you build a pole barn in your house? Would you like to have one? Would you build a pole barn where you're at? Are they allowed? Are there restrictions? It's so crazy how many things are not allowed and are allowed and won't be allowed in the future. But these pole barns are amazing super fast, super quick, and done, and gonna last for a long time. Peace.